we good? Are we good to go? Admittedly, I should have probably done something when I woke up before sitting down and clicking record. Cause your boy's beard is all kinds of raggedy scraggedy right now. Aside from looking like a bum first thing in the morning, hello everybody, welcome to Nappy Speaks, welcome back to Nappy Speaks, welcome to my dreams and aspirations stuttered by procrastination, if that makes sense. I feel like I was trying to use way too many big words there. I thought about making an update video of sort of this channel, but then at the same time I woke up this morning and figured, fuck it, let me just go into it and do it and just record today and see what happens make this the update video I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I have moved since our last vlog here on the channel and I'll tell you right now I still have like four or five vlogs from months ago that I never got the chance to edit or upload uh, so I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably just pick up where we left off with vlogging and upload all that old stuff as like vault vlogs or something like once a week instead of like procrastinating again and saying oh I can't do any new content until I get up all the old content Let's just put them at the same time and then speaking of old content we do still have a ton of lunch packs that we never opened I have like two or three of those recorded that we never actually got the chance to put up either so lunch packs may be returning as well and I'm sure you guys have tons and tons and tons and tons of questions regarding the new house and how's life been and yada 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 and we'll get to that we might do a house tour we might do a whole bunch of stuff but for now I'm just happy to be back and you guys want to see a little bit of Sadie check out my baby girl here look at her oh yes my baby oh yes Sadie Sadie's actually been a little bit of funk over the past a day or two I'm sure you can see right now watch out baby watch out watch out that little bitch watch out I'm sure you can see on her arm right here Sadie you're just making things difficult please move on her arm right here she has this little red patch and uh, I took her to the vet yesterday and it actually looks a lot better today than it did the past couple of days uh, but pretty much she got a cyst on her arm and the vet was saying it's the like the equivalent the best way to describe it would be like when you get a splinter and it's like really deep and it gets infected and your body tries to like push it out of your hand and it just gets even more infected and irritated so in the new backyard there's a whole bunch of bushes and stuff and my best guess is that she got into one of those bushes and something got into her arm and it's just caused problems for her ever since it doesn't seem to bother her too much you know she's still just the perfect princess that she always is but either way uh today we have quite a busy day lined up ahead of us uh, i need to get an update video up for the main channel because uh, my computer blew up I'll tell you more about that later and uh we gotta go scoop up twit and head to the gym today so lots of stuff going on we'll see what we can uh record and vlog and whatnot and it's still kind of crazy that I just up and woke up today and decided I'm gonna vlog today. Nappy speaks. Today's the day. Today's the day. Okay, so update video has been recorded, edited, and uploaded. Kingdom has successfully been launched as well. If you guys didn't know, Kingdom is our Overwatch team, semi-competitive Overwatch team. And literally, those 30 minutes that I just spent doing that, actually it was like an hour, is probably going to be the only time I have to create content today. So, that's why I'm excited to have Nappy Speaks back up and running because it allows us to connect a bit more with you. It allows me to connect a bit more with you. But it is time. I am all of like three minutes behind schedule for me to head downtown or south side of town I should say and pick up food and young twit actually twit has not replied to me yet so I don't know if we'll be picking up twit today or not but it's time for us to go to the gym I'm hyped I'm excited Ralphie's not awake either so today I guess it's just gonna be a solo day of sorts I wish I could take you with me Sadie you be good don't lick your arm I will put the cone of shame on you if you lick your arm okay 
Don't lick it. So, I told you guys it's been a little while since we've uh, really had a one on one like this since we actually sat down and didn't even vlog over here on Nappy Speaks, and a lot has happened in that short time. Did you guys know I was in a car accident or a fender bender, really more so of sorts? Uh, I was going on a one lane road, well, it's two lanes, one going each way, and it was like rush hour traffic and everything, and for whatever reason, everybody in front of me slammed on the brakes. The guy in front of me had to pull to the right off the road to avoid from hitting the car in front of him, but that was way too late for me to do anything about it, so I slammed on the brakes, Ralphie was sitting in the seat with me, slammed on the brakes, and literally, like, the dude that was in front of me, he pulled off to the right, I literally hit his bumper like this. It was literally just like the faintest tap, but it was just enough to fuck up Wesley. <laughs> Wesley had a black eye for about a week, and then I had to go without Wesley for a week. Um, pretty much what ended up happening is the guy in front of me, his trailer hitch punched a hole on the right side of my front bumper. His car was perfectly fine, because we were going maybe all of like 20 miles an hour, if that. It wasn't anything crazy. But his trailer hitch pretty much punched a hole in the front of Wesley sucks pretty much I had to ride around with Wesley with a fat lip with a hole in the, in the bumper uh, for a week until the shop was available and then I had to go without Wesley for a week until I can get him back but Wesley is fixed now that was probably about a month ago uh, and everything's good to go I'm just happy I fucking love Wesley I worked hard for Wesley he's my fucking baby and I had to take care of him <laughs> Picked up food for the week, nice and uh, portioned up and whatnot, so we can eat healthy. Your boy's gonna start eating healthy again. Heading back east to see family in a month or so, give or take a few days. So I kind of want to eat healthy for the next month and drop a couple pounds. Not that I need to or anything, it's just a personal thing. So we're gonna be eating healthy, we're gonna stick to just the meals, no more takeout or anything. And I don't think Twit's going to the gym with us today. I texted him, called him, I guess the nigga's asleep. I don't know what he's doing. He knows he's supposed to go to the gym on Monday, so why he ain't here is a mystery to me. But, it's his loss. So, snagging some vittles before we head to the gym. Ralphie's over here tying his shoe. He's not dead, he's actually alive. Another fun thing that has happened in my life since you guys have last seen me is uh, the microwave in the brand new house has just stopped working. That's why we have this one over here. Don't ask me why, I need to call the appliance man and get him in here to fix it up. But literally, I was standing here one night and I put something in and just closed the door and it just died. Just died. It's been done ever since. So, I need to stop procrastinating and getting the guy in here to fix it. Because what's the point in buying a brand new house if the fucking microwave don't work? Genius Rousey over here says that uh, the fuse for the microwave might be blown out. That's, yeah. You ever had experience with microwave fuses before? Really? What happened? Fucking liar! <laughs> so I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but we did take Sadie to the vet, you guys know that, uh, to get her arm looked at, and they gave us some pills for her. She's not just sitting here with an open wound on her arm. Uh, they gave us an anti-inflammatory and an antibiotic, so it's feeding time, Sadie. We need to give this to her. But thing is, Sadie's not stupid. Okay, Sadie's not stupid. You try and give her some, some of these pills. Look at this pill. Look at the size of this fucking pill right here. Right? You give her this pill, and you try and put it in, like, turkey or some shit, and she'll literally put it in her mouth and go, there, and drop the pill out. And it's like, stop! Okay, so we got a piece of cheese that I'm hopefully going to be able to swindle into her. She might be smarter than she looks. Actually, she is smarter than she looks. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Eat it up. Eat it up. Right here. Eat it up. There you go. There you go. Gotta keep her head. Go ahead, chew it up. No, I'm not. I'm on to your game, Sadie. No, no, no. Just eat it. Just eat it. Just eat it. Just eat it. Don't. She's gonna do it. Wait, did she eat? Ah! I wish this camera would stay in focus. Essentially, she just spit it back over my hand and dropped the pill on the ground. Sadie, you think you're gonna get this over on me? No, move, 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 move. This isn't happening. Not today. We're getting you this pill so that you can get better. Okay? Okay. So forget the cheese. She has one pill left. She needs to take. I think I found a new way to get her to take it. And she has these little doggy treats here. 
And it's kind of a hard thing to do because they're really small, but I think I got it. All I'm gonna do is just push this into it, right? And it breaks it a little bit. So I can kind of like sandwich it. Go ahead, baby. I know you want it. Go ahead, up, up. Eat it up, eat it up. I gotta put my hand here or else she'll put her head down and just drop it. Now I feel that pill. Just eat it, just eat it, please, it's so much. Look at this. You think you are so slick, you just get food out of me. You think you're so slick. It's just worked. This literally just worked. I just gave her one and she ate it. So why why does it not work now? Why, Sadie? I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. This is the last one you're getting out of me, dog. So you better eat. You better stop these games. I wish I just had a piece of turkey to give her. Ugh, boom, in the mouth. Chew it up. Just chew the pill. Just chew the pill. There you go. I hear her munching on it. Yes. Yes! Mission accomplished. Okay, so you, oh, you dropped a piece. You dropped a little piece here, Sadie. There you go. So, she got an extra piece of cheese out of me and an extra dog treat, but you got your pills, which is what you need for your arm. Damn it. Bro, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it was 113 fucking degrees outside. So what's poppin'? We're in the gym. This is Josh. He is a master trainer at LA Fitness. He's been the one getting your boy looking like the black John Cena. <laughs> and today is leg day. And leg day is the best. So leg we're gonna see. always the best and we never skip leg day. Yes. <laughs> but that's six right there. meet him over here by these racquetball courts so he can do something else that's gonna kill me now he done walked over here this big ass bar all these weights on it what are we supposed to do don't tell me lunges, lunges 